What the fuck up, world? What the fuck up, world? Time for us. Late Night Confessions. Episode 2. Hmm. What do you want to talk about? I got a funny story. It's crazy as hell. Like I say, um, I got stories of all different kinds of levels. But um, this one... A particular story popped up in my head. I'm sitting up here tripping. (laughs) Shit, man. Weed is good. But, no, I'm sitting up here tripping. Because I'm thinking about um, when I was with my my first baby mama. Well, shit. My baby mama. When I was with her. Fuck around and, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and her, we was on some other shit. We was like a a tag team partnership, like, you know what I'm saying, she was running the bootleg, nigga, I was, you know what I'm saying, selling everything from Tussie Rose to fucking cocaine and everything in between, like, we was on some hustling shit, I think, like, every two to three days, we put, like, $3,000 in the bank, and then we had, like, another 3000 just to, you know what I'm saying, go re-up on all kind of shit, so... Long story short, I'm thinking about this one time, nigga, we fucked around and nigga, we got hit. Like, nigga, raw died. You know what I'm saying? Not like at gunpoint or no shit like that. It's just they caught a nigga slipping. We fucked around, made one of them runs to the store and shit. And um, a bit came through the back door. And to this day, I don't know if I left the back door open or if a bit kicked that bitch in. I ain't see, I don't know, like I said, I probably did some dumb shit, like left the back door open type shit. Um, be real, late night confession. But, um, nah, the shit was crazy, man. I was discombobulated, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even worried about the shit that got took. You know what I'm saying? My energy was like, I felt exposed, nigga. I felt exposed, nigga. I was like, what the fuck? This can't be happening type of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't. The way I looked at it in my services, what I was providing to whoever it may be, it was a service for need. So I didn't look upon myself as a prey. You know what I'm saying? Even though I, since a young and I always protected myself like predator. But this shit here, boy, predator, eat a predator, boy. Yeah, I think they showed that shit in Jurassic Park where the motherfucking other dinosaur ate the other dinosaurs on some weird shit. You know, he snatched his head right up out the water. But anyway, nah, so, um, nigga got that shit took. So, it wasn't even that. So, when we came home and shit, me being who I am, everybody was trying to, you know what I'm saying, do you should do this and you should do that. I'm, a, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm allegedly a street person. So, I just kind of let everything marinate, you know what I'm saying, I, I kind of, you know what I'm saying? Seeing where everything went at. So I went to tripping because a lot of stories was leading up to this one particular, you know what I'm saying, person. You know what I'm saying? And the shit was crazy because I guess the word got back to him too. Because motherfuckers showed up right at my goddamn door. You know what I'm saying? I was tripping. Motherfuckers showed right up at my door and was like, man, nah, man, I ain't taking TV. I ain't, I ain't do none of that. So I think it was, you know what I'm saying, my brother-in-law at the time, at that time anyway, um, he 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 was the one opening the door. I, me, I had done lost my mind. My shit had done, you know what I'm saying, it went, it went somewhere else. So I, at that time, when he was opening up the door, talking to the dude, and the dude was trying to explain this, so I'm putting on my shoes, tying up my shit, like I'm finna fuck the dude up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So boom. You know what I'm saying? I got my shoes tied, struck out the door. This nigga hauled ass. Boom. You know what I'm talking about? He hauling ass. I'm right behind his ass. This nigga hit the mailbox. That's why I say, boy, you, you, boy, look here. It's true what they say, boy. Ain't no catching no crackhead. That nigga hit the wall. It's like he ran through that bitch. He hit that bitch with so much force, but he was moving like he ain't even feel that shit. So I'm tripping off that shit because I'm running behind his ass as I'm seeing this shit. Remind you, I smoke weed and shit. So I'm getting tired. That nigga got the fuck off. 
I'm talking about he got away. I was madder than a bitch. That nigga got the fuck away. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go back to the crib and shit. And I'm just, I'm just like, damn, man. I'm, I'm wishing and hoping like I, I, I ever see this motherfucker again, bro. And it's funny how things work. <laughs> it's funny as fuck how things work. And it's making me start to think like, dude, I ain't really even take my TV. But, you know what I'm saying, that's just how uh, perception can be put out there in the street. I mean, shit, there's been a lot of perception put out there by me. But um, that don't make it true. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say shit. Stand for something or fall for nothing. But long story short, the motherfucker actually came back. This is is like an hour later or some shit like that. He actually came back with the dude who bought the TV from him. Now, at this time, I'm like, this bitch got to at least exchange four times. It had to at least exchange four times. Because the person in my mind who... I feel like took it, you know what I'm saying, was close, you know what I'm saying, a lot of shit that, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna speak on that, that's for another late night confession, but, you know what I'm saying, it's just the whole simple fact, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, I felt like it was closer to home, but me being a street nigga, you know what I'm saying, I'm going off apathy, not empathy, apathy, so I feel like I gotta handle some business, you feel me? So, what happened next, the mother, it, it was like a dream. The nigga knocked on the door, and it was like, as he was knocking, and the mother would open up the door, I was putting on the shoes at the same time, like, nigga, I, I got a head start. It's like something in my soul knew it was him at the door. You know what I'm saying? So, the motherfucker took off. I'm talking about how that, but he couldn't get away this time. I grabbed that motherfucker like he was the police. I don't know if y'all ever seen that shit. Motherfucker run with the police, and they tired as fuck, and they done, you know what I'm saying? They'll swing a motherfucker around, like, in a whole circle, and then, like, body slam them. Just because they tired, and at the same time, they, like, be catching their breath and shit. So, it was something like that shit, but I had done caught his ass this time. Like, and I caught his ass, like, at the front of the apartments. So I jacked that nigga ass up, and I'm talking about I'm beating the fuck out of that nigga, but he like, young blood, please don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm, man, look at him, man. I'm damn near in his ass, but it don't feel like I'm doing nothing. Like, when I tell y'all I punched this man in the fucking nose, and he dropped all the way ground, I mean, all the way down to the ground, like, his bite was against the wall, because I don't know how in the fuck I got this nigga pinned against the wall. But a nigga bite was pinned against the, uh, pinned against the wall, and I fucked around, and I um, I hit the nigga in the nose. I literally seen him drop, like his 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 knees gave out, like his legs gave out. So I'm thinking he done for. That nigga popped up like a goddamn jack in the box. I was, I'm like, what the fuck? At this point, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of the motherfucker. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm whooping his ass, and, shit. and it just like I I just gave up. But nah, man, that was just. You know what I'm saying? Episode two, late night confession, man. Just um like I say, man, I like to take these stories and just reminisce over my life and and uh what it does for me on a spiritual level, um it helps me release, you know what I'm saying? Uh what they call pain, stress, whatever the fuck it may be. It don't matter. It just feel good to reflect and laugh on things. You know what I'm saying? I trust me, I got thousands and thousands of stories. But I finally got to a point in my life where I feel like, you know, motherfucker shit, there ain't nothing to hide about John Horse. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I went on here and did that. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of funny. And like I say, shit get deeper. I got deeper stories and shit like that. But, you know, you know what I mean? It's okay to get your toes wet. But um, I ain't trying to say the word, man. I just got an opinion, man. How are Grand Rising, Grand Night, man? Y'all be easy.